Hello everybody and welcome back to my series Journey to Jewel where we will finally be exploring Lathe. Yes, the only planet with a breathable atmosphere in the entire Kerbal Space Program will be our target today. And before we can land on it, of course, we want to do some science in the upper atmosphere because we want to grab all of the available uh, science in the Joule system, at least as far as we can grab it. Of course, we deliver it to our lab. And then we can get back into our lander, can wait until we are in uh, close proximity to the planet and then do it all again. Uh, of course, since we have to change kerbals for every moon of the Joule system, uh, Fermal Kerman is now the brave astronaut who is going to try to best this planet. So here we are taking other science samples, this time from the atmosphere of Lathe. And of course we've closed the cargo bay, so uh, the lander is protected from any atmospheric turbulence and also have uh, retracted our solar panels. Here you can see me just performing the science experiments while we uh, are aerobraking around the moon. The closest moon actually to the giant, uh, gr the green gas giant Jewel. And here just keeping an eye on the apps, looking good so far. And we're already on our way out of the atmosphere slowly rising in altitude and in a very safe margin. Apoap still coming down a little bit, but nothing that we can't handle. And now we're back out of the atmosphere. It's time once again to plan a maneuver node and uh, get the craft ready to stabilize its orbit. But first we have to gather the science we, get, uh, we got in the upper atmosphere and deliver it to our lab. So we can uh, get down to the planet with clean experiments. And here once again Fermal Kerman doing his duty, collecting the science from every experiment on board. You may have noticed I've gotten better at uh, getting the materials based science because practice makes perfect and now I finally got the hang of it how to get the Kerbal on AVA and uh, on what angle to get the science from the materials bay. So we are getting out of the cargo bay, moving our universal, land universal lander which can course land on every other moon of the Joule system uh, besides Tylo of course we dumped our Tylo descent stage there and we just have to make sure that the big uh, mothership the Julishka can get down uh, can get out of the atmosphere there we go, firing our 21 nuclear engines. Yes, now we have enough power to get out of the atmosphere. We're back to the lander and heading uh, deeper into the atmosphere so we will land on the surface. Not sure if we will land on land or in the, in the big vast ocean of Lathe, but we shall see. And here I lose my solar panel because I was too lazy, too stupid or just simply forgot to fold it in. And now our mission is under a certain time constraint because now my battery is a limited resource and I have to kind of calculate uh, what amount of electricity I am able to use and what uh, uh, how long I can last without recharging. But first we get a touchdown, nothing damaged so far. And Fermal Kerman can get out for a sweet recreational swim, which will be very nice for him because he has spent years on a spaceship in various orbits and the prospect of 
stretching his legs and swimming around a bit in real water in almost uh, comfortable gravity is very very appealing to him. So we just do some more science, gather the experiments, store them in our lander can, enjoy the scenery, look at that, beautiful. And then it's time to get back up out of the atmosphere and onto a safe orbit so we can rendezvous with our mothership and get on with our mission. Our four small engines firing away, lifting the lander up and up, uh, even higher up into the atmosphere. You may or may not know that a lathe has a denser atmosphere than Kerbin, but uh, the atmosphere is not as um, the, the atmospheric layers are not as high as they are on Kerbin. Also, the gravity is a lot lower, so it's you don't need that much delta V that you need if you would want to uh, get out of the atmosphere or in, into a safe orbit on Kerbin. Uh, as a matter of fact, the safe margin is around 56 kilometers of uh, periaps, and that's what we are trying to achieve here: circularization planning the circularization burn and then we are safe for the time being there we go just burning and here we go we have got our stable orbit so now it's time for thermal Kerman to once again do his duty and gather some more science experiments that he could not get on the surface because he could not fly around like this in his uh, wonderful EVA pack. Just gathering some more mystery goo. And then get back into the lander. And now I'm just skipping ahead through some maneuver planning. Because of course it would be quite boring to watch that at regular speed so I sped it up I think 16 times or something like that and then it is time for a burn but unfortunately uh, the difference in velocity is too great uh, to do it in one pass so I have to set up another maneuver node and do uh, another burn to uh, get those two crafts closer together. I'm sure there's a um, kind of very special term to call this kind of burn, but uh, I have not bothered looking it up, or if I have ever heard it, I have forgotten it. Sorry about that. So here we are again, burning our fuel with the mighty nuclear engines. And we're already very close to our lander vehicle, so it's looking good so far. Just some minor adjustments on the throttle. Turning around. Whoops, that was maybe a little too much, but we can compensate with the lander, well, with the fuel left in the lander, which isn't much, but it should be sufficient for us to get closer to our mothership and yes we have lowered our target velocity and getting closer to the cargo bay there we are now just aligning the cargo bay with the lander so we don't have to spend so much monopropellant and then it's time for the lander to get back into the fold, back into the mothership, where it will stay until it, we get to the next planetary body, which will be Val, of course. We're moving from the inside to the outside of the moons, with Paul being the final destination of our trip. Well, the final destination will be Kerbin, but the final destination inside the orbit of Joule. And here we are back into the mothership, Thermal Kerman safely home with his crewmates. And then it is time to transfer our Kerbals, because of course 
uh, since we want to have a new pilot for Val, uh, we will get Roni Kerman or Roni Kerman. I have no idea how to pronounce it because I don't speak Kerbal, but uh, let's just call him Roni. Uh, Roni Kerman will land on Val, and in order to, uh, for him to do that, we have to refill our lander therefore draining our dedicated fuel tank. You may have noticed I have locked that fuel tank so it won't get consumed by the main craft. And after we did that, it is time to get to Val. And so we set up another maneuver node and schedule our transfer burn so we can get into an encounter with Val. The third moon of Jewel. So it's setting it up and burning some more fuel when we reach our maneuver node. So we can get out of the orbit of Lathe and then get on to Val where we will land again and do some more science. Getting ready for the burn. And here we go. Burning the engines towards our target. Yes, we already see Val. That's what a coincidence. And so we're leaving the blue pearl of Jewel, the ocean planet, Lathe, Water World, but without Kevin Costner or Dennis Hopper. Thank goodness for that. But maybe they hide somewhere on an island, because I have not explored the entire moon yet, have I? So almost ready. Just watching... Yes, so well, that looks good. That looks actually very good. So, it's time to head to our next destination. And so with that, our journey to Jewel, well, our journey inside the Jewel system draws uh, closer and closer to its end, but for now, let's get on to the next moon in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Goodbye.